What's up, people? We're here again for another video. This is Undrafted Views. We're here. We talk sports from the sidelines. And I am here with my girl, Sha. Say what's up. What's up, people? I'm Eve. And today, <laughs> baby, let me tell you what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the Western Conference and its play in tournament and what we are predicting will be the playoff um, games. Yes. Now, I know. I know. We, what about the East? Well, what about them? Y'all going to the East? Is already <laughs> The games for the East, playoff brackets are already solid. Wizards, thank you so much for coming to the bubble. Here's your return ticket home. Good night. Start packing your bags. Good night. Have a great time. Rest up for next season. See you later. So we're going to focus on the Western Conference this time. I hope y'all okay with that. Good. You should be because that's what's <laughs> most important. Can you mean, you mean to tell me we got four teams that are vying for the AC? Yes. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get into it. Oh, uh, it's so exciting because I honestly, you know what, when I think about the four teams, so we got Portland. Yes. The Spurs. Yes. The blazing hot Phoenix Suns. Come through. And, uh, who else is it? Oh, oh, the Memphis Grizzlies. The Grizzlies. Come on, give me some energy with the Grizzlies. The Memphis Grizzlies. Ja Morant and the Grizzlies. <laughs> <laughs> now, of those four, now granted, I love the way Phoenix is playing. Memphis, I only like watching Ja. Yeah. Um, the Spurs, I'm going to have to eliminate them, but it's hard to go against uh, Popovich, but he ain't on the court. And he don't have no... You know, he don't, to me, he doesn't have a superstar. He got DeMar DeRozan, but, you know, he's in and out, especially in the playoffs. So I'm still riding with Dame and the Portland Trailblazers for the eighth seed in the West. Yeah, I, you know, at first I was a solid on that as well. But the way the Phoenix Suns are playing, I would not be mad. Matter of fact, I probably would be excited to even see them, if not the eighth seed, at least the ninth in the playing tournament. Oh, honestly, I would like to see the Portland Trail Blazers and the Phoenix Suns in the play in tournament. Mm. When I say nail biting games, we're talking about they have to win. Somebody has to win only one of those games. And somebody got to win two in a row. Ooh, oh, the shootout that will happen on the court between Dame and Devin Booker. What? Oh my gosh, must see TV for sure. Ah, uh, that to me, it was just raised my blood pressure too high. <laughs> I just want Dame and them to make it to the eighth seed solid, you know, not have to, you know, it's going to come down to the wire anyway. And yeah. what I like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, it doesn't even matter. Whoever is the eighth seed, whoever, whoever is the eighth seed, because they are so close, those four teams are so close. There will be a plan, period. So somebody yeah. is going to have to fight for their spot on the eighth seed. It's just going to happen. That's how, you know, close but, the game, that's how close the teams are. Yeah, they're really close. But you know what's unfair about that is teams one through seven, they sitting somewhere resting, getting rested. Meanwhile, the eighth seed and the ninth seed, they're still running all the cartilage out of their knees. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know, I know. Can mess around and step on the, you know, the, the back the screen, the back, back door. door. Yeah, and yeah. Hurt your ankle, have to walk off like, yeah, Joel and B did. So anything can happen. They can technically injure themselves. No, you're right. So I'm just like, oh my gosh. But whoever can withstand this and make it to the playoffs deserve uh -huh. to be there. I'm mean, when I say they deserve to be there, even if it is the Spurs, they deserve to be there. If you can beat the team in the plan. You the Spurs it. just aren't that exciting to me. No, they're That's not exciting. Why no. I'm, I'm going against them. They're just like, eh. it's like Tim no. Duncan. Very fundamental, kind of boring basketball. No, it is boring. I I don't even, I can't even sit through all their games. Unless they're playing somebody that I like to watch, they are boring. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. But being boring or not, if they can get through, then they deserve to be there. They deserve to be there. But I hope. And actually, as much, as much as I love John Morant, I don't want to see him. I really, really want to see the Phoenix Suns and the Trailblazers. I'm not even playing. That's horrible, right? Yeah. That's, facts. That's my You fact. know what? Ja is a rookie, and he's going to win Rookie of the Year. 
Yeah, he deserves it. He's got plenty of plenty of seasons to to make it to the playoffs, but yeah. just not this year, John. Not this not this year. And it's okay. You did an amazing job. It is okay. It's okay. I I I, I am still in belief that we should be doing the playoffs right now. I still agree with him that this eight seed playing tournament is not fair. I don't think it is. If you earn the eight seed when the season ended, you should still have maintained the eight seed. I agree mm-hmm. with that. But since they did put this new rule in place, it just kind of gives me an opportunity to want to see other teams. And right now, I would love to see the Portland Trailblazers and the Phoenix Suns shoot Duke it out on the court. Shoot it out, really, because that's what's going to happen. It's going to be amazing. Oh, my God. Okay, so did I miss you calling your eighth seed? Did you say Phoenix for the eighth seed? I'm still rooting for the Portland Trailblazers. I would love to see them in the eighth seed. So this is it. It, it, There's no absolutes in sports. You know that. No (laughs) absolutes in sports. So you take what I say with a grain of salt. I would prefer to see the Portland Trailblazers as the eighth seed in the West. However, if the Phoenix Suns get there, I will not be mad and I'll be rooting for them just like I will be rooting for the Portland Trailblazers. I'm just going to be honest. That's okay. Okay. Got it. So that matchup will be Portland or Phoenix against the Lakers. And you'd like to see one of them knock off the yes. Los Angeles Lakers. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll be okay with that. Initially, I thought the Lakers was going to, um, initially when we talked about what we thought in our early decisions, we said, Oh, you know, I said that the Lakers would be the one to get out of the first round, but the way the Lakers are playing right now and their two superstars barely showing up, I just can't say that I am confident that they'll be able to do it today, right mm-hmm. now. Not when we're talking about Dame and Booker on fire. So yeah, yeah. And I'm talking mm-hmm. about a stretch of seven games. Now you know, right now you can get hit and miss, and maybe because they've already clinched the West and they just feel like you know number one seed. Maybe they feel like they don't have to work as hard. No, you still got to show and prove. Mm-hmm. How unfair is that? Yeah, to your fans that you so love that you barely playing. 35 minutes AD with eight points. Don't get me started. I hate that. So, I know. You know, so if, if they don't show up, I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to have to work hard for whoever it is. The Lakers oh, will have yeah. to work really hard because they can get knocked out real easy. And the biggest upset, I can't just to see how the news, the NBA <laughs> analysts will shape the story. I am here for it if the Lakers go home. I cannot wait to see what that's going to sound like. So, Oh, yeah. oh well, yeah. check it out. Just on a side note, LeBron is already laying a foundation for his excuse. Absolutely. Absolutely. The first thing he said that, well, let me just back up to them clinching the first seed in the West. They said, I couldn't do it. You say you couldn't do what? What have you done? What have you done, <laughs> LeBron? What have you done? Okay. So that was one thing. The second thing was he mentioned that they were having some off-court issues amongst the team. In the following game, Deion Waiters, J.R. Smith, and Morris did not play. Well, so one can only gather that the three of them, and they are all three of them are considered NBA bad boys. It's just kind of ironic that LeBron made that statement, very mm-hmm. passive aggressive to the mm-hmm. media. Mm-hmm. Those three guys end up not playing the following game. And now all of a sudden they're on a losing streak. Mm-hmm. So, and then he already said that his groin was sore. So he's already laying a foundation for all of his excuses to show up at the end of the first round with um, a cast on his arm talking about how he was, how he was injured and, oh, he wasn't a hundred percent. He's already laying the foundation. So I think in his mind, he believes that they don't have what it takes this year. So, yeah. Well, yeah. you wanted these players on your team. Yeah. I was listening to Undisputed one morning, and Skip Bayless made a statement that LeBron James and Anthony Davis are not participating in shoot arounds. Now, I don't know how true that is. So, if there are some rumblings on the team, why don't you think you should be at shoot arounds barely making shots? 
I can understand if I'm not, I'm not speculating at this, of course, but I can see why there could be based on what LeBron says, something going on. Well, yeah, if I got to get up, you should get up. You're not even making your shots and you are a superstar. You and AD don't do that. Yep. Yep. You're not, you, are you too good to do shoot arounds now? Are we trying to get this chip? Mm -mm. No, yeah. no, I don't care. I don't care, but no, but your team or you know, I want to get my team involved really only on the court, not off the court. You got to do both because off the court, if you don't get it together off the court, you cannot get it together on the court. Or LeBron, you're going to do what you do, and then you're going to carry put the team on your back. But that back is old. <laughs> that back According is old. basketball time, right? And age. Mm -hmm. You've been playing this game for 17 years. I can only imagine. I've been working out two days, two times a day. I am exhausted. And the way that you play, the way that you've been playing, over the 17 years, I know your body is like, please give me a break. So, you know, if you're going to take a day off, what I will say as another side note, call it what it is. It's load management. Yeah. That's what don't it blame is. it on your groin. I respect that. What I don't respect is that you're going to make up something so you can sit out. Mm -hmm. I can't stand it. So. Yeah. Yeah. And he also said it's a weird dynamic playing without the fans. So that's another foundational you the only one. He the only one. Right. right. It's, the, it's the first time we've played in August. You the only one. It's the first yeah. time for everybody. I'm just done. I can't talk about. It. Wait, wait. He said I haven't played in an empty gym in a very, very, very long time. Laying the foundation. I'm just right now. What they're doing right now, this bubble, is a sign of mental toughness. Either you have it or you don't. And if you have felt, if you feel like you've earned the right because you've played so well over the years and you don't feel like you need to exert that much energy at this stage, that's unfair. But hey, I guess that's what it is. Again, that's that privilege. We talked about another in other videos. If you want to check those out, check them out. We do talk about NBA privilege because it's alive and well. And I don't think it is fair to the fans, number one, and to your partners or your players and your team that you are not showing up 100% of the time because you are reserving yourself for your playoff run. Yes, mm -mm. Yes, but well, what is AD reserving himself for? It's not like he's played in the league 17 years and have gone to the playoffs 90% of that period of time. What is I, AD doing? I promise. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I don't even want to see. I told y'all on a previous episode. It's so funny. AD is a follower. He does not have his own mind. I'm sorry. It, whatever LeBron does, AD is like, yeah, I want to do that too. No, dude, you haven't even, you haven't even earned your keep to me. You haven't. You so haven't earned it. no, you need to be at shoot around. You, if you are not at shoot around, you need to be, you need to be a shoot around. I'm going to, I maintain that if AD and LeBron are not consistent in the playoffs, they are going home. Because if you think Danny Green is going to find his jump shot, maybe a will to him in Orlando, you got another thing coming. You got another thing coming. You can forget it. And I, KCP, Contavious, Paul Wayne, or whatever. I'm just saying. What happened, Casey? What happened? They are not happy. These are signs. Mm. They're signs that there's some unhappy people on the Lakers team. I'm telling you right now. So, yeah. In, wow. in, in the, oh, please. I just, I can't. I want people to show up to work. You know how people go to work every day and they're unhappy, but they got to put in 110% all the time or they'll lose their job? I want y'all to do that too. Yeah. And those people are not like making their money. Yeah. People yeah. show up to work all the time. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No sympathy <laughs> here. Not with the million dollar contract. You don't get no sympathy with me. No. Mm -mm. Thank you. Zero. Zero. Okay. So I think we both agree Lakers going home in the, in the first round. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about it again. But right now, yes. Okay. I'm so all in it. Yes. So the next matchup that is very thrilling to me would be the Clippers and Dallas. So that's the two seven matchup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, Luka Doncic is playing out of this world. Oh my God, he's playing so good. And I don't know the Clipper if the Clippers have anyone to contain him. Yeah. The way they double team these teams have been double teaming Kawhi and or Paul George. I haven't seen them consistently being able to break that. 
And I believe if teams are successful at that, they can potentially beat the Lake, the Clippers. I can see it happening. I can see it happening. Uh, but I'm still for the Clippers. I am still riding for the Clippers. I just want to be able to see their their complete team on the court and the proper roles and, and the solid rotations of who's going to be there. Because right now they're still it's still hit and miss, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, um, but the superstars are Kawhi and Paul George. No different than the superstars on the LA Lakers, which is LeBron James and AD. They got to do it regardless. They don't get any <laughs> passes. No passes. Superstars get no passes. If you deem your, they call you a superstar, you got to show up as one. That's it. I don't care. So yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, yeah, you you got to be, you got to live up to that big contract. Yeah, at the end of the day, that's all the executives care about. That's all really yeah, okay. fans care about. Put on a show for us. I mean, hey, that's the bottom yeah. line for me too. Okay, Ooh. so the three uh -huh. six. What about, what about for you? I said the Clippers. What do you say? Oh yeah, the Clippers. Clippers. Oh, sure. okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. it'll be tough, you know, but I, I do pick the Clippers in the Dallas and um, Clipper matchup. Yes. Okay. okay so the three six matchup is uh, Denver in Utah. And for some reason, I don't know. When I think of the Nuggets and Utah Jazz, they just feel like the same team to me. They feel like the same team. Like they kind of play the same. But Jamal Murray and uh, he's back, right? Because he he just got back. Yeah. Did he play? Has he played yet? Yeah, he played and he lit him up too. Oh, mm -hmm. Welcome back, Jamal. Welcome back. No, Ooh, you know, that's hard. I, I don't really care. You don't care about the, nah. the three six. Mm -mm. I, no, mm -mm. I don't care about three six. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm, okay. Whichever one. What about you? I'm gonna go with Denver. Okay, it's because they they seem a little bit more gritty. Okay. You know, I like gritty players, so I'm gonna go with Denver in that matchup. But the four or five historically has always been tough and it's Houston and OKC. I know. A lot I know. of bad blood. A lot of bad blood between them. Ugh, it's going to be tough. I don't know. I'm, I'm rolling with Houston on this one though. Those are your boys. You like Houston. Yeah, yeah. You're real yeah. solid on Houston. OKC, those are going to give them a run for their money. They may. Uh, and you know, and Chris Paul, again, this may be the last time. So I'm going to need Chris <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah. I'm going to need him to I mean, yeah. I see the Rockets. I see the Rockets doing it because um James Harden don't play. I see mm -hmm. them, but it should be a good a good matchup. So for me, I'm going to go with um Houston on that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So so we got the one eight matchup. We already know what that is. We know about the four five Houston and OKC. The three uh -huh. six is Denver and Jazz, and the two seven is Clippers and Dallas. Yes. Now yes. of that bunch. Uh huh. The four teams that I think are coming out Ooh. are Houston and Portland. They're going to match up. <gasps> and then Denver and the Clippers. They're going to match up. And then of those four, only two can go to the Western Conference Finals. And uh, here's where it gets interesting because this has changed for me. Okay. You look at the previous episode, I picked a different team. Yes. But I'm going with Portland and the Clippers in the Western Conference Finals. I dropped off you my boy. Portland? I'm going Portland and the Clippers in the Western Conference Finals. Yep. I'm done. Yeah. They're playing with a huge chip on their show. The Dame is peed <sighs> off right now. When and I we're going to see a man on a mission. Watch. You know what, though? And it would be such a great story because mm -hmm. of the, the taunting that Pat Dev and um, Paul George did. That night he missed those two free throws uh -huh. in the game winning shot. Can you imagine? <laughs> no. You know what? When I say no, that's must see TV. Oh, yeah. My goodness. Oh, oh, I'm here for it. I'm here for that. Yeah. <sighs> I know. That would be so good. And I wish we had fans just because of the dynamic, right? There would be so what much. Families. It won't be the same. No, no. The families. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. oh. No, we need some rowdy, raucous fans in Los Angeles and also in Portland. Because, you know, oh, Portland is waiting. They're waiting. Portland. <gasps> I can't even yeah. contain myself. That is a good matchup. I don't think I think the ratings would be off the charts. Oh, yeah. That would be an amazing matchup. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So, so that's who I have in the West. Yeah, that's an upset. And, I'm here for it. Yes. Can you imagine the um, Portland Trailblazers not even being in the original eight, making it all the way Ooh. to the NBA Finals? Mm -hmm. But the yeah. uh, Western Conference Finals, I'm sorry, the Western Conference Finals. So mm -hmm. who's going to come out of that? Who's, <sighs> I have the Clippers beating you Portland. still have the Clippers? I have the Clippers facing the Toronto Raptors. I you don't think it's going to be the Bucks? No. You, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No, I you changed. You don't think it's going to be the Bucks? No, because I keyed in on the Toronto Raptors without Kawhi. I had an opportunity to watch. Oh, like they so. play team basketball. I With the watch. Milwaukee Bucks, it's Giannis or nothing at all. Uh, Middleton sometimes. Don't do that. Yeah, but you need Giannis. You absolutely need Giannis. Without Kyle Lowry, Fred Van Fleet can step in and knock you, knock him down. You know. You got, and you know and you, got, you got yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? You're absolutely ah. Oh, this is where death, 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 death yeah, come yeah. into place, right? So we don't oh, the team don't have enough death. Yeah, you're right. So once your superstar steps off the team, all of a sudden your team fall apart. L.A. Lakers. Hello, Milwaukee Bucks. Your, your, your superstar sits down for two minutes and y'all down 10 points. What yeah. is going on? Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Musty TV. I can't. That would be amazing. Here, Kawhi is playing the team he brought a championship to. Oh, the year that's before. something. I know. I hope he it ain't gonna give us no emotion. Kawhi ain't gonna give us no emotion. No, but can you imagine the? You know how how huge the North was. They had stuff outside. It was an amazing yeah. sight. Yeah, and then to for Kawhi to leave them and then play against them in the NBA Finals. That would be awesome. So you just don't see the Bucks. You know, nothing is absolute in sports. You no. know that? Nothing is absolute. <laughs> you know, I, I see the Bucks. I wouldn't be disappointed if the Bucks made it. However, in analyzing their team a little further in these last couple games, is Giannis or nothing at all or very little? Toronto is just deep, 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 deep. I mean, they can hit you from all angles. Pascal can drop 45 on you. Lowry, Van Fleet, I mean, oh, my God. And then you got Gasol knocking them down, too. Mm -mm. Let me tell you, that Lowry is a defensive beast. Yeah. He, I don't care how big, how tall, he is coming at you. Yeah. He cannot be bullied on the court at all. And I love it. I, he make, I enjoy watching Kyle Lowry play. I giggle, yeah. I laugh. It's like a whole show for me. I think it's funny. <laughs> playing, no, but they, and and he'll take a hit. Oh my, that's why he needs to rest his back, poor thing. Because he takes yeah. a hit. Oh my, he stay on yeah. the court floor. He stays on it. But he be getting yeah. them out sometimes. Yeah, no, I love it. And I yeah. like Nick Nurse, so I'm here for Nick Nurse. Yeah, that would be, ooh, that would send the NBA ratings through the roof. I think these two matchups here, whether it be the Western Conference Finals with um, the Clippers in Portland and then the Clippers making it to the NBA Finals where Kawhi has to face his old team. Oh, that's exactly what the NBA needs because Zion didn't bring it to them. He didn't bring the ratings like they thought he 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 was. <laughs> no, they did not see the writing on the wall. <sighs> Get your money. We don't even do it. We're not going to even do it. Zion, Lonzo, Josh Hart, you guys, there's always next year. Not for them. Lonzo, Lonzo might be in the G League next year. <laughs> Let me, okay, this is it. Let me tell you, I was looking on the NBA app and it was either NBA or ESPN, and they are talking about um, all the teams in the bubble. And it got down to the Pelicans. And in this little excerpt that they did to explain the Pelicans, do you not know they didn't mention Zion's name one time? They talked about Ooh. Lonzo Ball. Mm -mm. You never talk about Lonzo Ball. Oh, now all of a sudden you ain't got nothing to say about Zion and you're going to talk about Lonzo? Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. Yeah, ain't yeah, yeah. right. The, the, so we're going to just pretend like he's not even, we're not going to talk about him. We're just going to pick him up next year and talk about him. No, because he disappointed y'all. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. And I saw that too. And Lonzo tweeted, 
make sure y'all post my stats next year. As if he's going to come back a different player. You know. you know what? This was his year to come back a different player, and it didn't happen. So I don't think Lonzo has it in him, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to leave it right there. Sorry, Lonzo. <laughs> See you in the G League. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey, you know. Hey, that's what it is. So. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's it, y'all. What y'all think? Please drop down in the comments. And tell us soon before the playoffs officially begin who you think is going to be the what in the Western Conference Finals and who is going to make it to the NBA Finals from the West. That's what's important. Oh, as a matter of fact, give us the East because we just heard an upset. You mean we talked about um, it won't be the Bucks? <gasps> yeah, <laughs> Toronto and the Clippers possibly being the team that is going to be fighting for an NBA champion. Oh, are you here for it? I am. All right, y'all, we done. Until next time, y'all say bye. Bye, (laughs) y'all. Peace.